Hi, I'm Ansha Jones. Thank you for visiting. In this video, you can learn how to make a felt painting and lay out the wall in a great design. So with that said, let's get started. Making felt paintings and wall hangings is fun. I began as an artist using acrylics and painting murals. I wanted to see what could be achieved with felt. Here are some of my felt paintings. I think you'll agree you can create anything you can imagine. Today we're making a simple painting with simple design layout, but from here you can explore your own style. All materials for this project are listed below. Start by laying the first of four layers. I use white wool as this makes a nice fresh base. Layers of wool blend as they felt, so for the second layer, lay blocks of colour as a background for your finished painting. So orange and yellow for the sand, and light blue for the ocean. Lay these rovings at right angles to the first layer. The third layer will bring more variety of shades, which will give the finished felt painting more depth. If it helps, look at a photo of the beach to see where the sand is lighter and where the ocean looks darker. Here I'm adding different sand shades, getting lighter where the waves meet the sand. Again, the tops are laid out at right angles to the second layer. I'm still using light blue for the ocean because I'll use a mixed roving for the waves detail in the final layer. Pat it down and make sure it is even thickness. I'm using two mixed rovings for the waves dark blues and ocean blues and greens. The white in each roving is silk which gives it lustre, like shiny water. As you can see I'm teasing out the shades of blues and sea greens, leaving pale blue showing through and this creates a look of waves. Where the waves meet the shore, I'm using white rovings to create the white wavy foam. Then I add more dark blue to create shadow, and this gives the waves depth. Next, I use variegated yarn and roll it up to create the effect, when it's felted, of coral and shells. Once I've placed these in position, I use a little wool roving, 
the same colour as the sand, to place over the yarn, and this helps it to felt well into the painting. To create more light in the waves and on the beach, I add hand dyed silk rovings, and these catch the light and add shine. I balance the dark of the ocean with a stronger burnt orange on the sand at the base of the painting. Next I add some dimensional wool and this really gives a great ripple effect to the sand. Finally I add wool necks to the crests of the waves to give more of a frothy look to the foam. Neps don't blend easily as they're already pretty much pre-felted, so these need white rovings over the top to help them felt. Now ready to felt, put down netting and wet the wool right through. Carefully rub soap over the wool and begin rubbing gently so as not to disturb the design underneath. I will quickly show most of the felting process here, but for full details, materials and an explanation on how to make felt, please follow the link provided. and a pinch test shows it's mostly ready for the next stage, except one little detail, and I rub that with bubble wrap. Now onto rolling around the pool noodle. The video how to make felt tells you how long to roll and how many times to turn your work to get even shrinkage. Now for the fulling stage, rubbing the felt and dipping in soapy water and then more rubbing. It's ready when you achieve that lovely recognisable textured finish. Then you need to rinse all the soap out. Add a teaspoon of vinegar to the final rinse and make sure the wool soaks it up.
Leave it to rest in the vinegar water while you tidy up. Squeeze out the excess water gently. Then towel dry. Pull into shape. And there's your beautiful finished felt painting. And here it is hanging on the line. I love the colours. And here it is dry. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to be notified of my next creative videos, please subscribe to my channel. This is Ansha Jones, over and out.